Hi guys, welcome to my Z1 Designs card holder painting tutorial. Today we're going to paint this in a basic stone. I've used uniform grey from Army Painter and I'll go through the colours I use as I use them. First of all, I'm going to use Bane Blade Brown. Just going to pick out a couple of the stones just to get a bit of randomness to the overall feel. I'll just remove just a thin paint stem, just a little bit, it helps with the flow. As you can see, I'm just going to pick out a couple of bricks. Don't have to be too tidy here, because we're going to do a couple of things which are just going to pull all the colours together. Now we're moving on to our next colour, and we're going to use some Screaming Skull. You'll notice I use a lot of paints from the Citadel range, but use any colours that you like. The overall effects are very similar. Again, I'm just picking out a couple of bricks. Again, you don't need to be too neat. Sorry, it's out of frame here. What I would suggest though is Screaming Skull is a layer paint, so you may want to do two colours if you want it to be a little bit more vibrant. Okay, we're moving on to Administrating Grey now. This is going to be slightly lighter than the other, the Uniform Grey on the coat, but you'll see it makes just a slight difference, but just enough to stand out. Okay, we're moving on to more fang brown now. Just trying to add a bit more brighter colour into this. As you can see, it might look a bit bright going on, but like I say, we've got a couple of techniques to bring it all together.
this point you can see we've got all the colours on. Some of them have not been so neat, but we've got a nice effect going on here. So I'm going to go and use some Mechanicum Standard Grey now, or Mechanicus Standard Grey. And this is sort of to tidy up the bits where the undercoat from the spray hasn't quite just covered it. You may see some of the actual plastic underneath. So I'm just going to tidy them up um, in some areas because it's slightly darker than the uniform grey. I'm almost going to do like a little bit of shading, but realistically it's more for the just making sure there's a nice base coat on everything before we do the next stage. Okay, we've got the Agrax Earth Shade out now. now this paint is going to be used to do an all over wash and we're literally just taking it straight from the tub. Um, if you thin it with water it kind of uh, it pulls funny. Um, you can thin it with Lamy Medium or Flow Improver um, but for this stage I personally think that you can just slap it on straight from the bottle and it does a cracking job. It looks a bit too much to begin with once that's a chance to dry, uh, it really does change the overall effect of it. Okay, as you can see it's had a chance to dry a little bit now, a lot of the colours have pulled together, but it has gone a bit darker, maybe a bit darker than I like. So I'm going to use some Tyrant Skull here, do an all over dry brush and sort of pull the layers together. If you haven't dry brushed before, this is the dry paint from GW, but you can dry brush with any paint. You just want to make sure that you wipe the majority of the paint off the brush and you want a hard bristled brush because they tend to be better at transferring. If you get the option, go for a synthetic brush because they're obviously a bit harder wearing as well because this does abuse your brushes quite considerably. As you can see now, I've dry brushed the entire model. It's uh, really pulled the colours, it's toned down those really, really bright ones. But, uh, I'll just give it a 360 so you can actually see what's going on. And basically, that's my technique for doing colourful stones, as I call it. There is other techniques, you can add a bit of gore and stuff, obviously, to keep it in zombicide, but I'll go into that in another video. But if you've liked what you've seen, just slap that like button for me and if you want to see more just let me know if you've got any questions just put them in the comments below thanks very much for spending time to watch this